Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My presentation today about the relationship between osteoporosis knowledge, beliefs, and dietary calcium intake among Saudi adults. Osteoporosis is a disease characterized by decreased bone density and low bone microarticular quality, which in turn lead to increased the fractures. It's also reported as the fourth mean enemy of the human after heart failure, stroke, and cancer. The magnitude of a problem in Saudi. In the present population in Saudi Arabia is estimated to be 25 million. Of this, 10% of uh, our population is 50 years and above, and 200% is 50, uh, sorry, 70 years and above. But at the end of 2050, it is estimated to be that 31% of our population will be 50 or over, and 8% uh, of our population will be 70 or over. And as we know, uh, osteoporosis can affect uh, our health after 50 years age. A systematic review by, uh, for 36 local published articles by Mir Saadat in 2012 indicate that the prevalence of low bone mass osteoporosis and osteoponia in Saudi Arabia is 70% in men and women, which is very high prevalence. But especially for the osteoporosis, it's among women is 34% and in men, 30, 70, and with average age is 56 years. It's almost similar between women and men in my country. The process would increase in Saudi Arabia because they are uh, now we are change our life uh, style and also our diet for more westernized foods. We leave many of uh, our dishes, the traditional dishes, to uh, shift to the other, to the winter uh, to the western dishes. It's a preventable disease, but if we can undefine the factors that affect our diet and lifestyle behavior, it change. Then we can make these changes to maintain a bone, a bone mass, especially in the younger people and also in the adult. But we don't forget the awareness of about the disease can help very much to prevent this disease, especially in the young people and the adults below 50 years. When we can use the theories and models that help the researchers to understand the dietary and lifestyle behavior of people, one of the more popular models effective in health education and promotion is health belief model. Based in health belief model, which people can change their behavior when they understand that the disease is serious or otherwise they don't may change their life, uh, lifestyle or their uh, diets. The study objectives. Uh, today, just I present the relationship between the calcium intakes and the uh, um, health belief model. But we have uh, some results, but this is to present uh, related to the calcium intake, the socioeconomic factor. So they just will focus in the health belief model. The first objective we have, the present study aims to determine the osteoporosis knowledge, health behaviors, and calcium intake among Saudi adults. Also to assess the health belief model, construct, and their relationship to the calcium intake. Methods. It is a descriptive web-based survey, our population. We are invited to participate in this study by web-based survey by email letter. The letter was sent to a national group by researcher to 46 adults. Uh, we asked him to participate in the study and also to send this letter to any other uh, adults they can fill our criteria. Our criteria is very easy, only Saudi nationality and age from 20 to 60, disease free and for uh, women not pregnant. We measure the demographic and the socioeconomic information in the public measurement is self-rated. We ask them to uh, just put their height and uh, weight. Also, we ask about the exercise habit, if they are exercise uh, regularly every day by 30 minutes. Then we are categorized the people to less than three minutes, uh, three times, sorry, per week or more than three times per week. And we um, 
categorize as active or not active people. Also, we ask about the smoking habits, just one question, yes or no. Family history, if they have any uh, uh, family history diagnosis with uh, osteoporosis, yes or no. We'll use the osteoporosis health belief uh, skills. That's model we use the Arabic version. Initially, this uh, module is developed by Kim in 1990. When it includes 40 items with seven sub skills, each sub skills, uh, as we see now, susceptibility to the disease, severity, benefit of exercise, benefit to calcium intake, barriers to exercise, and barriers to calcium intake, and finally, health motivation. Each item was rated as using five point lectra scales and the possible range for the scores from 42 to 100. 10 for the uh, total uh, subskills. A possible range for each subskills uh, we have from 6 to 30 score. It's the process knowledge assessment test, OCAT. We use uh, the, the Arabic version from OCAT. OCAT is was developed, uh, developed by Wayne's in 2003. It's included 20 items and the statement was rated as uh, true, false, or I don't know. The instrument contains four sub-skills, as we see here, understanding the systems and risk factors, five items, knowledge risk factors of osteoporosis, seven items, and knowledge of a prevention factors as physical activity and related to diet, uh, like diet habit is six items. Finally, treatment availability is only two items. Also, we use the Ministry of Health, Saudi Ministry of Health uh, Food Frequency Questionnaire. Uh, that's uh, uh, this uh, an instrument. It's uh, about the food rich in calcium, and the rated uh, each uh, we put uh, each item of food, and we ask people of how uh, times they uh, consume it per week, never or rarely, one time, two to three, four to five, or every day. This is our statistical uh, analysis, and the overall reliability of our instrument is uh, based in Kronbach Alpha is uh, 0.87. Results. Actually, I feel it is a good response if we have uh, 285 male and 270. Uh, Eight, uh, sorry, 287 female, uh, especially because we are used uh, the website survey. This is unfamiliar in my country to respond to the website surveys. The mean age, we have a significant difference between male and female. Our male is uh, uh, older than our females, and majority of them had university uh, level of education and higher with significant difference. Also, we see here we, uh, the female more educated than uh, male in this study. Uh, the employed students are also uh, male more um, uh, employed than uh, our females. Majority of them are uh, married and. We, as we see here, uh, more male had a family history with osteoporosis. It's almost 40% than women, 34%. The income, we can say it's uh, majority of our subject for female had income uh, 5,000, equal 5,000 riyals or below. For a male, a majority of them had more than 5,000 riyals. If we take measurements and indicators, we see uh, the good news here, both of our subjects in the normal uh, PMI category, but we have uh, more male obese than male, and that's, uh, it is similar to our the national study uh, done, uh, national survey, big national studies find that male or, or overweight more than female in my country. But in, in major, uh, overall, we are all of them almost in the normal PMI. Exercise, majority of our subject, they didn't exercise regularly. Uh, as we see here, more female than female uh, not exercise uh, uh, three times or below per week. Smoking, uh, there is significant difference. Uh, male in my country, they are uh, smokers than female, but I believe it is not uh, only 4% of women in my country, but because the, for the cultural barriers to women uh, said, I guess I'm a smoking woman, uh, I'm, uh, I take cigarettes, then I think most of them, they answer no. 
but I don't think this is the real uh, answer. Calcium intake, actually, it's, it's very uh, good result if we have the calcium-rich food intakes. We measure it, then we quality the food uh, the FAQ to the serving size. A majority of the male uh, consume almost two servings per day, and for the female, three servings per day. Now, for the knowledge, it is an uh, ungood result, as we see here for the knowledge. Both of them, male and female, had low mean score of knowledge, but still female are more knowledgeable about the disease than uh, men with significant difference. For susceptibility and severity of the disease, as we see here, also it's low uh, uh, scores out of 30, but still female, they feel they are, uh, maybe they will detect more uh, for the disease, but the male, they don't believe they will detect by the disease. Um, the other, uh, the, the final significant uh, relationship between male and female here, we'll see for barriers for exercise and we'll explain later why we'll see this uh, significant difference. Oh, finally, I just I want to mention, it is very high score for motivation between man and woman and I think this is good result to see people had uh, high motivation to participate in the future in any intervention study uh, detect the osteoporosis prevention. For uh, uh, correlation, we, jo we had only uh, uh, we have a correlation uh, between calcium intake and uh, uh, calcium intake and uh, severity and susceptibility only among women. Also, we have in various relationship between perceived barriers and exercise only for women. But with male, we don't have a, we don't report any significant relationship uh, between uh, health brief model or knowledge uh, with calcium intake. Now, the total osteoporosis knowledge, as I mentioned before, is very low than the other accepted uh, group because we here we have well-educated subjects, but studies use the same our instrument or CAT or uh, similar instrument uh, for uh, similar age group, 30 to 30, uh, 40 years, also report poor to moderate level of knowledge. Usually younger subjects not aware about osteoporosis as 50s and above. 2006, we established a national osteoporosis awareness campaign, but it's focused in tertiary prevention with people they already detect with the, uh, the disease, and also they target uh, only women and men above 50 years. In 2012, the good news there will start a new version from our national osteoporosis awareness campaign. Uh, it's uh, target the uh, young people, they start from the secondary school, uh, uh, but still they focus in female uh, uh, from age 15 until uh, uh, older, but not, uh, they don't focus about or not target the female in my country. And I think that uh, show why the result, why the uh, male in our uh, study, they don't believe they can be, get osteoporosis. Female perceived to be more susceptibility or severity towards uh, osteoporosis than male, and that we can say it in other words, our male in our uh, or our subject in my study, they didn't believe that osteoporosis will be significantly affect their lives because most of them they believe this is uh, disease can affect women only women, not for uh, disease for men, and I think this is because um, uh, we don't have a good uh, awareness campaign to uh, uh, educate the people about the disease, especially the male. The study subject has a positive view about the exercise and calcium, both of them, men and women. They consume uh, adequate amount of calcium rich foods, it's two servings for male and three servings for uh, female. Barriers for exercise among women was high, only 32% they exercise more than 90 minutes in a week. 
over the week. In Saudi Arabia, as many Middle East countries, females has lower, have lower participation in any physical activity. And I think that's related to the traditional rule, homemakers, the majority of them also, uh, they are uh, married with the responsibility for the children and for the husbands. Literature review by Mike Lloyd indicates that motivation as an effective and important factor that improve behavior to prevent osteoporosis. The subject had high level of motivation to prevent osteoporosis that can help them to change and maintain appropriate behavior. Calcium intake has significant relationship with uh, female perceived susceptibility and severity. In this study, there was a various association between calcium intake and the perceived barriers for exercise. That called, they believe they consume more rich calcium food, then there is no need to be active. But this is uh, also a wrong belief. Uh, it's not, it should to be more active to prevent yourself from osteoporosis. Not only eat or consume rich foods, uh, uh, calcium rich foods. The limitation, our study, the subject in this study were not presentable for all Saudi adults aged between 20 to 55 years. This was a sample of adults who appropriate high level of education. Requirement was self-selection. Also, we don't know the response rate, the actual response rates, uh, who accepted our invitation or refused our invitation to participate in uh, this uh, survey. Conclusion, this study relieved lack of knowledge about osteoporosis prevention. Majority of our subject not physically active, especially female, and relieved important relationship between susceptibility and severity toward osteoporosis among women. And finally, without knowledge, behavioral change is not informed and individual must be aware of osteoporosis before they can be expected to take any positive steps. Thank you.